Hi everybody, this is DJ here at PBC Photography Creative Cafe in Bethalto, Illinois. And this is what I hope to be um, a weekly web blog to kind of keep you up to date of some of the stuff that we do here at PBC. I just want to let everybody know that next Thursday is going to be our jam night. We've been doing those for quite some time now. We do them every second and fourth Thursdays of the month. Starting pretty much around between five and six, depending on when everybody gets off of work. Um, we do it upstairs on the stage with the stage lights, but don't let that, you know, scare you. We just like to offer the best experience possible to our budding rock stars. It's open to, uh, to anyone in the public that wants to come either sing with a band or play with a band. Uh, it's always, we always see new faces and we like to see new faces at jam night because it just makes it even more fun. Every time we have somebody new, they just bring another element to it. Uh, if you want, here on the on our YouTube channel, go ahead and check out some of the videos that I made from the last jam night, and you can see just how much fun these guys have. It's totally, totally casual, but a whole lot of fun. Our next professional <laughs> event is going to be our, our next concert. It's going to be January 21st. It's Brewer and Shipley. I think they're pretty much best known for a song called One Toke Over the Line. You can hear that all over the radio stations here in St. Louis. In fact, I just heard it this morning. Um, I love that song. It's, they harmonize so well together. They have really gorgeous voices, and I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a really great show. So, like I said, January 21st, tickets are going to be $30. We do have limited seating here at PBC. We like to keep things a little intimate. So uh, if you want to see the show, please give us a call. Stop by and get your tickets, or you can go on our website, which I'll give the address in just a, a minute, and uh, get your tickets before they're all gone. Um, we do, real quick, before I go, because I'm going to try to keep this really, really short, just kind of give you, you know, bullet points, and then if you're really interested, you can call us and find out more. But I went on our Facebook page, and I asked people if there's anything about PBC, give, you know, shoot a question over, and I'll try to answer it here on the blog. And so I actually had two people ask uh, two very different questions. First question was from Jeffrey. And uh, he wanted to know a little bit more about uh, our rental space because we do rent our upstairs out for parties and showers and, and meetings and whatever you need a space for, you know, we can provide the space. He wanted to know a little bit about bringing in food and beverages if you had an event. And we, uh, we do have a full kitchen. We told, you know, we invite you to bring in your own food, bring in your own caterer. We, you know, we'd love to have you here. Um, however, beverages, we do ask that you get those through us. And, you know, whatever you need, you give us a call, set it up, and we will totally take care of you. We have a great selection of beer and wine. We have uh, different sodas. We have iced tea. We have everything you need. So uh, just give us a call and talk to either Jay or Charlie, and we'll get you set up with that. Um, and he also, Jeffrey also wanted to know if when you rent our space, can you use our stage and lights? And the answer to that is absolutely if you're interested in using our stage lights or our house uh, sound system, call Charlie and talk to him because he's kind of in charge of that and tell him exactly what it is you need and we can definitely get you set up and make your event, you know, just fantastic. Uh, so like I said, give, you know, give Charlie a call and talk to him. Second question that I got was from Val and it was actually for me because I'm a total camera nerd and it was a total camera nerd question. Val knows that I give a good home to orphan cameras. People don't want cameras, they find them in their basements, their closets, their attics, and instead of throwing them away, they bring them to me, and so I have this huge collection of cameras. And he wanted to know what is the oldest camera in my collection. The oldest camera in my collection is a camera that I actually bought in Denver, Colorado, and it's my Kodak Vest Pocket Camera, series number three. And it is the oldest camera in my collection because it is from about 1930, 1933. Um, I'm still trying to pinpoint exactly when. Somewhere in the very early 30s. Um, and it's what they call a bellows camera. Obviously a film camera, not digital. It's a cute little thing, fits in your vest pocket. And carry that around and take snapshots of your family out on picnics. Uh, usually when I have cameras, I buy cameras, I'll get film and use them at least once just to prove that they're still perfectly good and you really don't want to throw them away. But unfortunately this camera I cannot use right now because the bellows is kind of messed up. It's got some uh, breakage here at the corners which would let light in. It would ruin the film in the camera so I can't use it right now. But I am going to try to fix it so I can use it at least once. Uh, but it, it's really, it's a nice display piece at least. But I really, really, instead of just displaying, I'd like to, you know, put these 
these little toys to work for me if I can, just to have some fun. I still like to shoot film. Anyway, so hopefully that answers your questions. If anybody else has any questions, ask me anything, about, especially about photography, because that's, you know, that's my uh, field of expertise. Uh, shoot us a, a message on our website, or you can go on our Facebook page, just search PBC Photography, like our business page, and then you can shoot me a question and I'll try to answer it for you. And hopefully until next week, I will see you guys later. Have a great weekend.